All right, and we'll pop the spot. Just cashed out. Yeah, some light. Some little light pieces of work. He don't keep his boxes though, bro. Is that I weird? I don't keep boxes. You gotta keep the clear boxes. We all about the aesthetic over here. <laughs> the aesthetic. Who get? Are you wearing the shoe box? <laughs> What's up, worship boy iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back in the sneaker room. Back with another sneaker buyout video. But before we get started with the pickups that we just grabbed yesterday, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so we stay in tune with the reviews on the feast, sneaker a lot of sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. We definitely trying to get that subscriber crowd up. We trying to make sure we get everybody tuned into the videos, man, because I got a lot of good content. We don't want nobody to miss out on it. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and adding people to the crew, man. But not gonna waste any more time, y'all. Let's get into it. All right, I bought about 11 shoes yesterday for about $1,000, man. So I got a lot of great steals, a lot of great deals, man. Um, shout out to my boy, David Green. He's the one that you probably saw in the beginning of this video from that little clip that I showed. <clears throat> um, yeah, but yeah, man, very dope dude, man. We've been in the sneakers for about maybe, I've been knowing him from over t for over 10 years, bro, and we both worked at Foot Lock and everything like that. So. It's been a long, long, long time coming, robbing out. Uh, it's been a long, long, long time coming, robbing out with my boy Dave, man. Shout out to Dave again for allowing me to pick up all these great shoes for the price that he did, man. So let's start with these shoes, man. Boom, first things first. We do have the Gold Toe Air Jordan 1, man. When these first came out, bro, nobody was really rocking with them like that. Um, and then I remember when we saw like this complex conversion, um, then everybody kind of went hype for it and then, then this shoe kind of like got that pop to it But this definitely is a dope shoe. I remember when I first camped out for these I got two pairs and around that time um, Jordan ones wasn't really a thing. It was a thing, but it wasn't a thing and I ended up selling these for like 240 on StockX at that time man, which is crazy now this shoe goes for almost $400 $500 brand new um, but this one right here, man, is a size 10. I did copy these from Dave. Dave wears a size 10. And um, definitely, definitely a great shoe, man, if anybody's interested in it. It is a size 10. The only thing that is crazy, man, that boy Dave do not keep any of his shoe boxes. He literally buys and throws them straight in a drop front case and throws away the box, man. So that's something that um, kind of goes with when you're doing a sneaker buyout. Sometimes you're going to get ones with the box. Sometimes you're going to get some without the box. And this one doesn't have the box. Majority of these don't have the box, but a lot of great shoes. Nice pickup. First one is the Air Jordan 1 Goto. All right, second one here we have the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam with the 4 5 on the back, man. I can't believe Brody got rid of his actual box, man. Very, very, very dope sneaker. Very confident sneaker, man. And even if it doesn't sell um, on my end, I don't mind just having an extra pair of Space Jam just sitting around because it's a dope monumental shoe man you see it you see what's going on man very great shoe love that stitch 45 man the actual box was a very special release man and i don't see how anybody that likes air jordan 11s if you don't have this pair you don't have any other pair like if you don't have these the concords um and the breads at least cool grades maybe you can add them in but as far as like the top three in my opinion the holy holy trinity it's the space jams Concords and breads. Nothing comes before it, nothing comes after it, man. So, also, these are the size 10, man, if anybody's interested in the shoe. Let's get into the next one. Boom, we have it here, man. The Air Jordan 13 Del Sol, man. And let me just tell you, um, looking at these second hand or second glance of these over time, this is a dope shoe, man. If you look at something like the Cherry 13s and now you have this like yellow and white colorway definitely a dope hit another shoe that kind of grabbed my eye recently that i picked up before and did a review on was that um green and white like that lucky green 13 very dope shoes bro i just feel like we um it's kind of i ain't gonna say it's too late but i just think sometimes you get drained with sneakers man and one of the shoes i wish they would bring back is the ray allen 13s but i think the lucky green is like the closest thing you'll get but yeah man dead stock shoe right here this is not used this is not worn but brody threw away the box so you can't do much with a shoe that ain't got the box so we have it here man the air jordan 13 del sol size 10 dead stock right here man if anybody's interested 
don't sleep. Hit me up in the uh, DM or hit me up on um, Instagram at any time, and I'll let y'all, I'll let these things fly, man. Good price. All right, number four, we have it here, man. The Air Jordan 5. What the? And I was just telling Dave, man, this is one of those shoes that I feel like we all gonna regret going down the line, seeing that they always have like a what the shoe that always sells out, always is like dirt cheap because nobody's feeling at the time. 10 years later, the shoe is like one of those shoes that we wish we had in our collection because it had all these great things going on. So this shoe is a dope shoe. I don't want to take away from it. It's a dope shoe. I wish I still had my pair, but it's one of them things where it's like, if you don't have to have them, you don't have to have them, especially if you had Raging Bulls. And I had Raging Bulls, man, but this definitely is a dope shoe, something that I feel like later on is gonna be one of those timeless sneakers. Again, man, another size 10, no box. As you can see, condition is great, man. One thing about Dave, man, and us working at the sneaker store, we keep our sneakers very, very, very clean. Uh, that's one of my apps going off because you know I post these joints up as soon as I cop them. But y'all see what's going on, man. I love this shoe. Uh, I love the details on this joint. I don't have it anymore, but definitely, definitely, definitely one of those shoes I feel like if you're a collector and you collect it for long term, it's probably one of the ones, man, because it's very special, man. But that's it. The Air Jordan 5. What the? Let's go to the next shoe. Boom. We have it here, man. The Air Jordan 13 Altitude, man. And everybody know I've done a review on this sneaker before. I've had this in my collection from, I had the 2005 version and these, and they're both a very dope shoe. Now, I always felt like these kind of ran kind of big, so if I wanted to keep these, I could, but I'm not gonna keep them, man. It's gonna be one of them shoes that I just gotta let fly. Again, perfect condition, bro. Just no box, size 10. You got those black and green hits. Very dope shoe, and I feel like if you're a sneakerhead, it was a moment in time where you saw the shoe and it's like, I gotta have it. So, you know, this is one of the things. You got that dope Stingray on the side. It almost could have been like, if we look at like an earlier collaboration of OVO, this could have been something that Drake could have got and like did something similar to it and probably would have went crazy. But, you know, it's not that time no more, man. People not really hitting on sneakers like this like they used to, bro. Stuff like this used to go crazy in the hood. Used to go crazy at school. But now, something like this is like, eh, it's cool. Because, you know, mostly everybody's into dunks now. So, it's like, man, I wish wish we could bring back those old days where the OG type of styles or the like, like re-release stuff would still hit out there in the streets. But... It's just a new day, y'all, new day. Boom, now here's a banger, man. Here's one of the ones that I feel like a lot of y'all gonna like, appreciate, probably gonna want. Um, it is the Air Jordan 1 Bread Toe. Um, very dope sneaker. One of those shoes that I feel like a lot of people have always wanted in their collection. Might be somebody's grail out there. For me personally, right, I never liked this shoe. Like, I always bought it. I've had this shoe like at least five to 10 times. Bought it, resold it, kept it, resold it, wore it, resold it. And um, I just always felt like I either wanted a Air Jordan 1 bread or a black toe. I didn't want it in between. So this is definitely one of them shoes that I felt like during the time frame, I, I feel like boost the hype of Air Jordan 1s to like, like to the next level. You feel what I'm saying? Like we always had the shattered backboards and stuff and those are always doing numbers. But I remember when this shoe dropped, bro, people were fighting them all for this joint right here. And it's just crazy how time fly and how people um, literally would do anything for this shoe. Cause to me, it's like average sneaker. It's, it's dope, but it's nothing too crazy. But I remember, bro, I remember. And it's one of those shoes that I think, man, if you don't have in your collection and you like Air Jordan ones and you got a whole bunch of pairs, I think at some point you should get these just cause it ties in, man. You know, you got the bread, you got the black toe, and then you got that new age stuff going on right here with the, the red toe. So that's where you got all the whole new thing. Now you got the gold toes, the red toes, the yellow toes, the taxis, the purple toes, the green toes. That's where all this came from, starting with this right here, man. So a banger right here, something that um I felt like in that price premium was one of the more higher end shoes. And that's what I had to pay for, man. But that's it for that shoe. Let's go on to the next one. Boom, we have another one, man. The Air Jordan 1 Mocha, man. And one of the great shoes out of the pick, out of that thousand dollar pickup, man. One of the good shoes that definitely hold its value. Definitely one of those shoes that I feel like hasn't went out of style, especially with that black and 
kind of brown colorway they call them like the i guess the reverse smokers i don't know if you want to call it reverse smokers but they're coming out i forgot the exact name for it but this shoe is standing strong at 500 bucks man at 500 dollars use i feel like you can always get like 350 to 400 just depending on what you're selling what's the condition shout out to david gambo excellent condition bro if you look at this shoe look at that all stars I did wipe off the bottoms a little bit, so yeah, man, your boy did wipe down the bottom of the sneaker, man, so you can see, focus, 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 so you can see right here, man, at the bottom of the shoe, very clean shoe, David, shout out to David again, man, very clean shoe, very dope shoe, the Mocha ones are definitely a classic, I did notice that with the Mocha ones, though, the leather on these are doing the same thing, the bread toes and I believe like the uh, shot like the shadows and the royals are doing because of the leather so make sure y'all taking the paper out putting out in a separate plastic bag that's what I suggest or throw away the paper that's inside the shoe box all together or wear the shoe you can avoid all the BS if you wear the shoe too so definitely a dope pickup man out of that thousand dollar pickup man let's get to the next shoe boom we have it here man the air Jordan 13 I believe they call it either the game royal or royal blue one of these type of joints man and off rip i'm gonna tell you bro i like this shoe a lot a lot i like the color blocking it definitely gives me bread 13 vibes the same og colorway that uh, jordan played in this could have easily been like uh, um air jordan 13 uh, Orlando Magic colorway or PE and I'm sure they probably got this colorway from a PE and it's just crazy man stuff like this we don't appreciate and value but I definitely think this shoe is dope um, if it was probably a 10 and a half I probably would have kept it because it's one of them shoes that easily you could throw on throw on some little shorts with it nice little blue top and you, you smacking with these right here this is a dope OG the hood goes crazy for these every single time I haven't posted these up yet but pristine bro I think he wore these maybe shit if if one one time one time man look at it. i wiped off the bottoms it looked brand new man but again i had to pick these up these are one of the ones i feel like are gonna fly easily i could put these up for like 140 150 and they'll fly um but still taking the risk bro but definitely a great shoe let's go ahead and get to the next one all right this one this one right here is one of the ones i think all the sneaker heads out there are waiting on one of the great sneakers that i feel like needs a re-release but at the same time i'm not pressed for it at the same time but boom, we have it here, man. The Air Jordan 1, Columbia's, or what they call them, University. Man, that white is smacking. Let me let me do one thing real quick. Let me bring this down. What's up? Yeah, man. Hopefully, y'all can see it. I know it's still probably too bright. But the Air Jordan 11, Columbia, man. Very dope shoe. Um, again, man, bro did not keep any of his boxes. But this shoe is definitely one of the ones where it's like, if you know, you know. If you like it, you like it. A lot of people aren't going to be into these, but it's definitely one of those good shoes that I feel like was a good pickup in that $1,000 pickup. Again, I got a lot of great shoes for $1,000, 11 shoes. Um, I did have, before I go to the last shoe, I did have the um, clay green ones, but I sold them to my boy James, aka Block 813. Y'all top in with Block 813 for any of like your sneaker pickups, sneaker selling, uh, anything, bro. He does some mass uh, buyouts. Tap in with James or Block for any of that, man. But I just sold those to him because that's his size and he loved it. He wanted that shoe. We worked out a deal and he got that shoe. So those are gone already. But yeah, man, we got the Legend Blue 11s right here or the Columbias, I would call them. Don't know if that's offensive. Sorry if I offense any, offended anybody. But we're going to go into this last shoe and end the video. Boom. We have it here, man. The Air Jordan 4. What the? <laughs> It's crazy, man, because I had this shoe. Um, I contemplated on this shoe multiple times. These set in the mall, bro. Set in the mall. This shoe was sitting on shelves, bro. Just like Black Cats, just like Cool Grace. These were sitting. Um, I bought these. I copped them for like 180, brand new um, on, a, on a discount. Maybe 180, or maybe like 160 or something like that on discount. Um, shout out to my plug um, that worked in the sneaker store at that time. I got a discount on them joints after they sat for so long. Then um, I ended up selling these early in my, like maybe last year, the year before for like 400 bucks, bro, which was crazy to me. And um, then Dave said, hey, bro, I got a size 10 and a half, no box. So let me grab these. I'm into my Jordan 4 wave, so I had to grab these for the collection, man. I'm definitely happy that I have these back. But uh, this this will work too. I guess they did all the white colorways instead of any of the 
like the bread, the bread colorway. They, I think that's the only one they did now that is the bread, right? Right. Nope, they put the bread on the bottom of this one. So they did add the bread in here, just not as much, but definitely one of the fan favorites. You kind of hit a miss. Leather is good. Um, I don't think we really appreciated it at that time, but the leather on these are funky and good. But definitely gonna be one of the ones y'all gonna see me wear very soon. Gonna do it on feet, and definitely gonna bring y'all a collection of all my Air Jordan 4s, man. But I wanna hear from y'all, man. I wanna know what y'all think about the shoes I picked up. Let me add this back up, man. Get, get back right. Let me get this back right real quick. But I wanna hear from y'all, man. What y'all think about my pickups, man? The video is probably super long because I had so many shoes that I picked up, which I'm okay with. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and watched it all the way through. I'm gonna go ahead and show one more time all the shoes that I did pick up. Try to make me a thumbnail, man. More sneaker pickups coming, man. Y'all already know what I'm gonna do. Every time I try to cop a big pack of sneakers, man, I'll try to at least double my money or get 30 to 50, 30 to 50% on each shoe. So I'll keep y'all updated on what I do with these, man. Those size 12s, all gone. I sold those on eBay. I'm telling y'all, do not sleep on eBay. Tap in with eBay, man. But y'all see what's going on. Y'all see what's going on. Another sneaker buyout, man. We doing that all day, all day, all the time. We trying to make sure we make some money and do it smart. Use market is very good. The cop to flip. And you know, I see a lot of people always talking about flipping sneakers. Well, this guy selling y'all cop the used sneakers, the good used sneakers, clean them up, resell them, make you some bread. Don't try to be greedy. You can sometimes, but you know, try to make your margins and move forward. And um, that's pretty much it, man. Also, last thing, your boy did pick up these uh, starter, starting lineup, starting lineup, Ken Griffey Jr. dolls, $10 each. I ended up getting two of them. Very dope item. This is the type of stuff that I love. Maybe one day I'll do it like a, a my vintage pickup or vintage collection. Uh, action figures and just all the stuff I have, but this is another dope thing I picked up that I wanted to show you that I grabbed today. But yeah, man, that's it. Let me know what y'all think about all my pickups. Let me know what y'all thought about the video. Is it something y'all want to continue to see from me anymore? Because I will stop making the videos if y'all don't. I know I've been away for a while, but I had to bring y'all some content, man. But I thank y'all for tuning in. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews on Feast, the sneaker blind, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.